Hello Capricorn, welcome back to the Lucky Tarot. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I have for you your May 1st to the 7th general love and relationship reading. This is an intuitive reading. It is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Capricorn signs. Feel free to reverse the roles, especially if you are a cross-watcher. And if this reading does not resonate, please check your other signs, your Venus, Mercury, as well as your Jupiter signs for more accurate messages. So let's see what's going on for you Capricorn. Spirit Angels Universe, give us the energies for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising for the period of May 1st to the 7th in love and relationship. Okay, first card, we have the butterfly. Wow. And we have the horse. And we also have the buffalo. So I do feel like over here is your energy only because there's a lot of earth and grounding energies that I'm getting from the horse and the buffalo. Your partner has the spider, the shark energy, and we have the oyster. Alright, so bottom of the deck is the hummingbird. We are going to be discussing the hummingbird first as an overall theme. I do sense that first few days of May for you, my dear Capricorn, um, it's going to be a lot of burst of excitement. How you are in relationships around people that you care about or your romantic partner, there's just a lot of fun, okay? A lot of going out, a lot of energy to do a lot of things with your person. And, and uh, you're affecting their mood as well, okay? You seem to light up the room with a hummingbird. Your presence alone gives this kind of energy towards people where um, there's excitement. They know that it's going to be a fun time hanging around with you, all right? And with the hummingbird, if you guys feel drained and exhausted because you are, I see, entertaining a lot of people or doing a lot of things, multitasking, okay? It's important for you to take a rest as well. Make sure that you guys are getting a lot of nutrients, you're, you're eating right, you're sleeping right, despite your busy schedules, okay? So that is one thing with the hummingbird because you would want to keep the same kind of energy and it is a beautiful energy. It's a very, very high um, vibrational energy that I'm picking up from you guys, all right? So with the butterfly, horse, and buffalo, and I'm reading this meanings together, yep. There's like a message here, a gentle reminder with the butterfly that um, even though you want to do a lot of things for this person and this relationship, make sure that you also leave some for yourself, okay? Um, there's like a frail energy, a vulnerable energy with the butterfly. You're going to start off May feeling a bit exhausted or like lacking sleep. So make sure that you also recover and recharge your batteries, all right? Whether it be form of self-love, whether it be, you know, cutting off from the crowd, the big crowd, the big city lights, whatever it is, you guys need to secure your health first with the butterfly. And I do sense that for some of you, you are transitioning. And so that's why I feel the excitement over here. You guys could be doing some new projects with your partner or something around um, your career involving people, all right, is... is um, it's on transition over here so remember to use your energy wisely don't spread yourselves too thin Capricorn um, with the horse over here I know that you guys are literally workhorses you work day and night you don't rest you know you have that kind of energy where when you put your mind into it you can do anything that you want you can accomplish it I see the horse is kinda like the chart card and the tarot so I have a feeling like Despite, you know, how challenging this new, okay, new transition, new area, or new relationship may be, you guys are going to, you're just going to go for it. There's no room for doubt. There's no room to rest at all, okay, with the horse. And it's like intuitively, you guys know that um, it takes consistency to keep things together like this, like the hummingbird energy. So with the horse, I do sense that for some of you, after getting a lot of um, adjustment with this new energy that you are in, a new level of energy with the hummingbird, you're going to realize you need daily meditation time. You need to also take a step 
by step. Okay, no matter how much you have in front of you, the responsibility and the load, taking care of others' needs as well, remember to take care of your own. I see with the horse and buffalo over here, there's kind of like a wise energy going on, um, but I also sense exhaustion over here, but um, the spirit of not giving up. So physically, your bodies may require some rest, but your spirit is like always on the go. And that is also how you want to be with the person that you care about or people that you care about. I sense that they rely on your strength. They, they rely on you maybe for financial um, stability, also your help. And because of this, make sure that you also um, just get what you can, can take from the responsibilities. Do not do everything for other people, you know? Um, don't spread yourselves too thin. So, Horace, I do sense that you're enjoying what you do. You're enjoying the relationship. Um, as long as you have fun, that's what I sense, hummingbird and horse. As long as you have fun with your partner, make things light, okay? Uh, as much as possible, have some fun, go out, you know? So, to also relieve your gu you guys from all the pressure and the stress. With the buffalo, I sense that the first few days of May, you guys are going to be really practical in terms of how you how you view relationships. You're you're quite balanced, all right. I sense the balance balanceness in the buffalo energy, wherein you make sure you have a lot of fun with your partner or this person, but at the same time, you're you guys are not really forgetting the responsibilities you have with work, with family and and friends, and also with yourself. And I do sense that you guys are very trusting of the transition phase that you are in with your partner. It could have been a situation recently where you felt the connection got weakened, but it's only because it, it has been transitioning. It's either you are taking the lead right now with the horse and buffalo, okay, and, and it's like your partner is leaning on you for support. That's what I see. Now, we have the spider, the shark, and the oyster, okay, and, and feel free to reverse the roles here, especially for cross watchers. I have a feeling where your partner is ex experiencing some form of mental fear and that's the reason why maybe they're not really in the same kind of level with you in terms of in terms of everything you have planned out for the first few days of May. They may feel a bit, you know, shut off, closed off from the idea at first. Oyster and Shark tells me that your partner has a lot of concerns, have a lot of anxiety as well. It, they are faced in a situation where um, something is haunting them, all right? And I don't sense it, it is the connection, but for some of you, it could be. They, they, they experience some form of holdback because they're not confronting something. They're not sharing something with you. Something that you intuitively know already. You know, it's funny because I, I feel Capricorn that you already have an idea what it is, but it's like you're waiting for this person to open up. The reason why they're closed off is because maybe... They're disregarding uh, what they need to say, and, and it's like they're brushing off the idea as it's not important. But the more they suppress this, and the more that they keep this hidden from you and the connection, it's like the more their fears get stronger with the shark. And so no matter how much they pretend that this is not going on, sooner or later this person is going to have to just say it, just express it, or like come out of an oyster energy wherein they're so closed off or shut off, okay? So... You know what they say, once you express your fears, your mental fears, and you begin to listen to how you sound, you know, and it begins to be like, well, it's not the reality of the situation. Living too much in your head, especially with your partner, they're in their head a lot of times. Sometimes it's not the reality. We tend to sometimes exaggerate and think too much of the fears, but it's not too, so much as the reality of the situation. And despite that, though, despite that, though, your partner is not really... Um, is not really forgetting the responsibilities that he or she may have with the relationship. Although I sense a frailness and vulnerability, like I mentioned, with the spider, this person is going to continue working hard on their goals. They're also very focused on their work. And I sense that um, this person you're dealing with is very creative, right? But they have a tendency to close off or they have maybe a tendency not to show everyone their creative side or a side of themselves that people think um, is beautiful but they don't believe it sometimes, so they shut off. But if this person gains a lot of self-confidence, maybe it's, um, it's an issue regarding self-image that they care about so much, okay, something about this person has been hurt in the past, 
and it's like um, it's it's a wound that hasn't fully healed yet okay and so maybe the shark is something that is way back not just in the connection but this person in general has something to heal and I feel like what they're doing here and who they are as a person is very beautiful very creative but they tend to shut off for, for reasons, maybe in their environment. There's something that's triggering them and not allowing them to become their open selves. They're, they're very expressive, usual selves, all right? But I feel like you're, you're very patient with your partner, Capricorn. And you don't mind, like, being the support system for now, okay? And it's best that you stay that way because I feel like this person will eventually learn how to share their burdens and learn to speak about what it is that's been bothering them. And hopefully that this person will start healing from the process okay so that is the animal spirit now we're gonna head to your uh, tower reading let's see what the tower has to say additional messages for you guys this week spirit angels universe give us additional messages for the sign of Capricorn Sun Moon rising for the period of May 1st to the 7th. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Love Messages, period of May 1st to the 7th. Alright, so we have first card is the Page of Pentacles. This is definitely you or it could be another Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have a Scorpion over here with the Death card. We have the King of Cups, so I sense a Scorpion or Cancer or Pisces that you guys could be dealing with right now or within this week. We have the High Priestess. We have the Four of Cups and the Knight of Cups. Bottom of the deck is the Seven of Cups. So let's talk about the bottom of the deck first with the Seven of Cups. Okay, so Capricorn, with the Seven of Cups, something tells me that um, the reason why your partner is also closed off and not really saying a lot of things to you right at the moment, or there's like a, a vibe that they're, they're, um, they're a bit shut off from the idea of being transparent is because this person is confused about a decision that they must do, okay? They're a bit on their head a lot of times, like I mentioned. Um, they're in the head a lot of times because they fear not being able to make a decision. Could be regarding relationship or in their life in general. So, I don't feel like this person already made a decision. But for some of you, since we're dealing with energies, they could have already made this decision long ago. But they're not really telling you this because they're conflicted whether or not the timing is right. I feel like this person will eventually make the right decision. Sorry for the background noise, guys. I can't do much about my neighbor's noise. But going back to your reading, um, they definitely can learn to trust themselves and have the confidence, right, to be expressive and express what they truly desire. Because it seems like now, because they're too much in their headspace, right, they, they begin to doubt their ability to make a wise decision, a smart decision, or one that's going to really honor their, their heart, okay? And because of mental fears, the more that they close off to the idea of asking maybe other people's help or opinion, um, I feel like they're, they're going to reject a lot of offers from you or maybe people to go out and, and really have fun. The reason why I said that, because I have the Four of Cups over here with the High Priestess. They're going to be a, um, in a silent mode, right? They're going to be in a mode where, well, I'm not feeling it, Capricorn. At the moment, I don't feel like going out. I don't feel like talking to you about my problems. There's just too much. I sense the kind of energy with your partner we're in. They're, they're truly overwhelmed. And the reason why they're overwhelmed is because they're trying to get to the bottom of, the, of their feelings. They're trying to get to know you know, the core of the situation. And so with the Nine of Cups, I feel like during the last um, days of this week, they're finally going to accept the cup. They're going to have a forward movement, all right? And maybe they're going to try to offer that cup and, and um, be back on their normal selves. If you are dealing with a water sign, they're going to be back on their lovey-dovey kind of atmosphere in themselves from a period of emotional withdrawal. 
and they they did take that time to recover to rest and most especially to think think long and hard which one of these cups and am, am i going to take okay um you may feel a bit of their distance you may feel that they're cold but best believe that this is for a reason, Capricorn. Don't take it too personally when your partner or this person is giving you distance. It's just that they're in their headspace a lot of times. Thinking of, you know, maybe the choices they've made in the past wasn't really fulfilling, you know. And they were really happy with it. And there was, there was a lot of realizations about that. So right now they're being smart about their choices. So to not repeat the same kind of feeling, regret, and expectation. So with that said, I feel like with you, Page of Pentacles, Death, and King of Cups, it's not really an ending of a relationship. I don't feel that way. I just feel like with the Death card, it's it's an ending of um, this state of having to push what you want, but letting your partner choose what they want. You know, it's that kind of mutual respect and trust, and and letting the person decide for themselves. I don't feel like you're forcing the situation, although with the Page of Pentacles, you would want to offer um, what it is that you want to offer with this person. Could be a stable relationship, could be a help of some sort, if this is your friend or if this is your family member. You do want to help them out. You do want to reach out, okay? But you're not pushing it. You're not truly getting into their personal space. You do are aware that this person just needs to be by themselves. With that said, death is like an ending of a way of doing things or a pattern, something that's clearly not working out with you guys in the past or could not be helping the situation right now, okay? But with the King of Cups, and, and I feel like when I see the King of Cups, it's a very loving energy, very enduring, very also intuitive, okay? So it could be, I do sense that with this King of Cups, what matters right now for you, Capricorn, is that there's like um, a unity in your life, okay? That's your main focus. You don't want to get too much absorbed over your situation with your partner. You do have the trust that they will be able to resolve this. But for you, it's like you are aware it has nothing to do with you, but something about this relationship you feel very, very gravitated towards. So you're very patiently waiting until this person has decided, and they will with the Knight of Cups. And both of you are going to look forward, as you see, King of Cups and Knight of Cups all looking forward to the future and what else is out there, okay? And you, you guys are going to, like, look forward and realize that, well, this situation, this kind of, like, awkward state of not talking or not talking too much is what you actually both need to give each other personal space and release whatever it is that you need to release. Mostly your partner is what I sense. So... All in all, there's going to be a lot of realizations from both ends, okay? And regardless of how distant your partner is, I do sense that, you know, you want what's best for them, Capricorn. That's why you're not forcing what you want. You want them to be able to choose by themselves if it's you, if it's other things. So you want to give them that freedom to choose. So that's essential because with the High Priestess, as soon as, as this truth will come out, right? As soon as this person will choose based on their intuition and what it is that, that, that their heart is really telling them. I feel like the offer of love is now more authentic. The relationship is also going to get more and more real for you and this person. If in the, in, the, in the previous, you know, you guys have a lot that um, you're thinking about each other. A lot of fears, maybe a lot of holdbacks. From here on... I sense that the love is going to get stronger, deeper, and more grounding. And that's the High Priestess. Something authentic is going to come out for, from a period of meditation and contemplation of the things that's not working out between you and this person. So the Death card is, is bringing forth new energies for you and your partner. And almost always the transformation is for the good. And that's what I truly see. Okay? So that is your reading, Capricorn. If this resonates, please like and share the video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please like and share this video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.